God bless everyone for coming. Dios les bendiga a todos por venir. Uh, we wanted to keep it short for family because we know we have a lot of family here uh, because of the, if we were to ask everybody to come up, it would be too long. And so uh, the grandkids, I see one of his grandkids here from Texas and Massachusetts. Nice in Massachusetts. Over and his other grandkids and from different places, some speak, some don't, but all say, share the same heart. Scripture says, La escritura dice, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart, and I will enter his courts with praise. Entraré por sus puertas con acción de gracias, por sus atrios con alabanza. Santos, my, my, my dad. Santos, mi padre. He pioneered and pastored Bethel Christian Center. First it was Bethel Assembly. Él empezó, uh, fundó, primero empezó como asambleas Bethel. And now Bethel Christian Center, close to 25 years he pastored. Él pastoreó casi 25 años. Uh, my, my stepfather helped to establish uh, churches such as ours, Revolution Church in Las Vegas. And he leaves a legacy that lives on with all of us. And so we, before my stepfather passed, he asked me the same thing my dad asked. Me dijo, will you do my funeral? Yes. And I think about my dad. My dad was a, he was a hardworking man, as Dennis said. At a, at a young age, he worked hard. He learned the value of work, hard work. And my stepfather was not a lazy man. Y él no era un hombre, uh, flow. And everything he owned was due to hard work in his life. Y él todo lo que poseía era a través del trabajo duro. And all of us today, and I want to thank everyone for coming from different places. Thank you, Pastor Joe, for opening up your church. Gracias, Pastor Joe, por abrir sus puertas de su iglesia y a todos los que están aquí de visitar las distancias. Uh, my memories of my stepfather was when I was 12 years old. Coming to live over in Texas and meet him for the very first time. He had his truck. Wore his carpenter's union jacket. Or if he was feeling slick. He'd wear, he'd wear his black leather jacket or he also had this tan color leather jacket too he wore and, and that's all it took to get Mrs. Vega running over to him <laughs> nothing more than Stetson and a good old Texan cowboy to bring my mama running that's for sure <laughs> my mom said hallelujah to that that's for sure I know she's watching you know and this is what I want to say about you know my father my stepfather he never looked at me as like a stepchild uh, he never looked at me as a burden or a problem, even though I was. It was not easy during that time, but the spirit of prayer that my stepfather carried that very few could ever come close to. Soothe every hurt in my life. Soothe every hurt in my life. I can remember the time when he and my mom went through their marriages and they dissolved and I remember a time that he, my mom, and my dad 
y mi padrastro. Can remember them getting into a car and going to a restaurant. Los tres se subieron a un carro y manejaron a un restaurante. To work out the problems of the past and build a better future for family. Y se y para para tratar de resolver los problemas del pasado y poder edificar un futuro mejor. He he and my father kept a good relationship, a godly and a friend, friendly relationship. All the days of both their lives. The power of a person that follows God. And, and they did it right. That was the amazing thing. When my father passed six years ago, he wept and prayed for him Santos lloró y oró por él. Until the day my dad was promoted into glory. Hasta que el día que mi papá fue promovido a gloria. My dad would say, if I could choose any man to be a husband to Alice, it would have been Santos. Mi papá Dean dijo, si yo hubiera podido escoger el mejor hombre para tu madre Alice, hubiera sido un mejor hombre no pudiera haber escogido yo que Santos he, prov ella. he provided for me. I never missed a meal, as you can see. I remember sitting at the table eating his good rice that he loved to cook. And Santos was the kind of man that was never afraid to work the kitchen. I mean, man, he did it good and made meals that Martha Stewart would be happy for. <laughs> he made my first weight bench out of wood. All wood, my whole weight bench. Ugly old thing, but man, I thought I won the. I thought at 13 years old I had won the lottery. He would drive to pick me up and my girlfriends. It's okay, Iris. My girlfriends <laughs> in in this <laughs> ugly green long extended van. Amen. Oh my God, that thing, that thing was so ugly. We called it the green tamale. It was just so ugly. Santos and I, we shared many things together. Let me tell you of an incident. I got a couple of minutes here, so let me tell you of an incident. Early on in my childhood, that, that, that brought us close together. One day, tragedy struck our house. I don't know if the guys remember this, but, but there was a robbery that took place in our home. One day, as my precious stepfather was getting ready to go to work, he noticed something was missing. He noticed that as he started his day early in the morning, he noticed that his underwears, his socks, and his t-shirts were, were gone. <laughs> and he noticed, he noticed, and he thought at first it was it was my mom. Maybe my mom didn't wash the clothes, which she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, was, he was so upset getting ready to go to work. I don't know if you guys know, my stepfather, he helped to build the Arco Arena in Sacramento. That no big old sé, thing. So he would go through he would go through no underwear so what was going on Santos would go through who, what, when, where, how who would do this who would do such a horrible thing and it was only under investigation that he came to one conclusion could the underwear thief be my youngest son wow what to do but upon questioning, came to me, and here's what I said when I was caught right-handed. Hey, one me. I didn't touch it. You know, if you know something, I could hear myself. Chihuahua, mano. 
Ustedes pueden escuchar Santos, Chihuahua. And this go on, this go on for several weeks. Y siguió pasando por varias semanas. As the crime spree of the underwear thief would linger. Y la, el crimen de, seguía Nobody in Milton admitting guilt. Y nadie, nadie quería admitir la, la, la culpa. He'd buy new ones, he'd come up missing. Que compraba más y se desaparecía. And then he began to notice. Y se dio, empezó a dar cuenta a él. That Denny is not seeming to having to buy any new underwear. Y Denny no tenía shirts. Ni que lavar, ni comprar. So one day, my stepfather got very clever. <laughs> and he did something that would forever end that case once and forever. Every dad learned this lesson. My stepfather got a Sharpie pin, got his underwear, got his shirt. I remember Santos. And he put SV on every one of them. SV on every one of them. Now, whoever wore them were walking around with this SV on them. And from that day until today, I never, I mean, the thief never found it again. All right, praise the Lord, right? He took the responsibility of taking care of me and the task of loving me. When I was lost in gangs, when I was looking at 27 years in prison, it was my stepfather that watched out for me. What I get to say, what I get to say, and my story is this. I can hear about anybody else's story. Here's my story. As many of us learn, my stepfather was there for me. When I gave my heart to Christ, he was there. He was there for me every time I crossed the line of my graduation to my to my. Uh, doctorate to high school from high school to doctorate my father my stepfather was there for me when I found my true love and we crossed that line together 20 years ago he was there for me he loved me as his son he never lifted as didn't said never lifted his hand for me but what he did do was lift holy hands for me he believed the best. Some would say, well, yeah, well, that's your stepdad. Here's what I've learned from my stepdad. And it's the whole reason for me being whole. Blood may make you a relative. But love and loyalty makes you family. It is for this reason that I'm a whole man. And I be given the honor of promoting my stepfather into glory. I never had to choose. You see, because love, as it is said, love wiped out every prejudice and every presumption of life. Love erased the hurt of our lives and built a legacy for us to live on. That's the legacy of Santos Vega. He accepted all who came to him. He never ran from problems or difficulties. But faced everything with strength, dignity, and integrity. My dad was a supernatural dad that believed in the miraculous. He, he was, uh, I, I would see uh, doctors and teachers come to this uneducated man asking him for prayers because they knew something was different about Santos. I saw apostles and prophets and teachers and all of that who couldn't carry the coat of my stepfather would know that my father my, my dad was a man who was on his knees in prayer with God coming to him 
I saw the favor and the grace of God in somebody's life. The forgiveness that everybody needs in here. He was, he was simply supernatural. I, he was a professor in God's power. And the PhD he carried in English sounds a lot better. Preaching, healing, and deliverance, let me tell you. And if anything could be said about my stepfather is he was a man of prayer. Pray for hours, hours, days. He would be the first to open that church door and the last to close it. When nobody came to pray, my stepfather was praying. What people talked about, he did. He was never afraid to learn. He always learned and can you believe my stepfather humbled himself so that one day I could pastor him as he pastored me what an honor those of us who know Santos we know this he was an outdoors man loved Love to camp out with his trailer, cooking outdoors, taught his kids how to shoot a bow and sling a, use a slingshot. His greatest joy was when he met Jesus Christ in 1983. Two years later, God would call him to ministry. He worked, at, he worked as a deacon and God promoted him forward for a life that would touch multitudes. But his greatest joy was when he would reunite with his true love. His, his Prieta, he would say. My mom, Alice. See, because his story is really a love story. You can't know Santos without knowing Alice. See, because all of this binds together. Uh, they, they, at one time, they were high school sweethearts. Mom didn't know I was recording, but I was recording. And my mom, who came from an abusive home when, when she was a young, daughter, or young girl, when she, was, when she was 16 and Santos was 15, Alicia, you robbed the cradle. We know this. Here it is. Here it is in my mother's own words. He was my protector. Coming from where I came from, he was not afraid to say what he had to say. He would... He would carry my instruments with, to the, with, that I had with the band all the time. He would carry them for me. Of course, years would go on and they both would marry other people. They would have children. Of course, as years would go on, they would marry, as I said before. But fast forward. They're both single now and they're back in Texas. One day while my mom was with my aunt, she, my aunt says, Guess who's single? Santos Vega. My mom didn't take that long to rush to the phone, give Santos a call. She said that Janice answered. Janice said, my dad's not here, but I'll let him know you called. She said it had been years, uh, it had been, uh, uh, but that they got together, and that uh, two weeks later, as they were talking, as weeks had gone by, he said, if I'm going to make you my wife, then I'm going to have to present you as my wife. And if you know Santos, Santos took care of my mom. Took care of him with a love that was very strong. She said, 
it was because of Santos that I came back to Christ. He brought me back. Even in church, some would, some would, would, uh, would uh, not accept that they were divorced. What would they do? Well, you know what they did? They were cast out. You know what they did? Here's what they did. They kept their integrity. And they went to another church. And then eventually they would start their own church. For people who had that same hurt. And for years to come, they would never leave each other's side. He cared for her and loved her. Other men, when they would see my stepfather, the way he took care of my mother, they would say, why would you do that? And Santos would say, don't question me because how I handle my wife and love my wife. If you believe God, God will get you one too. And you can treat him right. At one point in their marriage, Santos and my mother owned a bridal boutique, believe it or not. And here was this man with strong, calloused hands, cutting uh, uh, wedding dresses and a little thimble on his finger and sewing and, you know. Y ahí está atrás cortando vestidos de novia, cosiendo y, y, y a, haciendo todas estas cosas. What kind of man would do that? A real man. ¿Qué tipo de, de hombre lo está haciendo? A real man would do that. Un hombre de verdad. He said, I want to spend time with my wife. Y dice, quiero pasar tiempo. And this is how I, if this is how I can do it to spend with her, I'll do it just to be with her. Y si esta es la única manera que lo puedo hacer. Así lo voy a hacer. He taught me not to apologize for loving my wife and my family over everything else. Romeo and Juliet had nothing on them. I'm almost done here. He was a journeyman carpenter. Carpentry is the skill and the trade of building things. And he was such, I worked with him, he was such a master teacher at this. I mean, he wanted everything perfect. Exact preci precision. So much so that it was so annoying that you throw down your tool and say, I'm not working with this guy again. I'm done. Tired. But what he built lasted. Carpenter, carpenters, traditionally, they work with all kinds of rough things, and that's what my stepfather was. He worked with all kinds of rough things, rough people. And he just wasn't into building structures, though. He was into building lives. A man's life is not measured by a year or two years or what somebody thinks. La vida de un hombre no es, no es juzgada para lo que, de, por un año, por dos años, o lo que la gente piensa. Because just like you have bad things to say about people, all kinds of people got bad things to say about you. Porque de la misma huh. manera que la gente puede decir mal de ti, tú puedes decir mal de la gente. Life is built from the perspective of how heaven sees us. La vida está edificada de cómo el cielo nos mira a nosotros. Could have, mom could have no greater, I could have no greater example. No puedo tener mejor ejemplo. Than Santos in my life. He was not just my step up, my stepdad, he was my step up dad. Mm. I hear people say, Oh, he was a he was a good man. No, my dad, my my dad was a great man. He didn't lose a thing, but he gained everything. He didn't, we gained everything by having him in our lives. No regrets. So I look at my stepfather today and I say, what would Santos say? What would Santos say to us today? Mom, he told you. I told you I would take care of you. And I've taken care of you. Now you must take care of yourself. Mom, no greater example of a love a man had for his wife than my stepfather. 
haya tenido para una esposa que el que te dio. I remember your 25th anniversary. Yo recuerdo el aniversario de tu 25 años. And how he loved to dance with you. Y cómo el amor now mommy's dancing in the presence of the Lord he would say mi prieta live hon live finish what we started together the journey is not over yet I loved you I loved you I loved you but you still have more to do keep running the race take care of yourself and live for me to all his to all his children, a todos sus hijos. he would say, I've given all the love I have, it's yours to use. Give it out. Denlo. Take care of your children. A sus hijos. I know the Lord will bless and keep you. Y yo sé que el Señor los I've, va a I've prayed for you. Por usted. I love you. Los amo. Take care of your babies and lead them to the Lord. A sus hijos y de Show them the way. El Live for me. Y vivan para mí. To his grandchildren. A sus, a sus nietos, he would say. Él les diría, and it doesn't matter if it's Scotty's age or Caleb's age. He would say behave. <laughs> Love your parents. Amen a sus Graduate. Learn. Bless and be all you can be. Love God and live for Him for all you do. My friends, we're gonna share, I'm going to share a little video here real quick for you. But I know that there's so much here. Like I said, time does not permit any of us to speak because we would be speaking for a long time. But to you, I look and I see through the pews how many people my stepfather touched. To you, my stepfather would say this. He would say, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I will bless them. Maya, could you show the video? It's got a little second here for you. I tried to put as much people as I could, so please forgive me if there's not everybody there. But you know, in his heart.
better place to live. But you know, I just can't seem to be excited about this world. All that it might be. I could care less if I could buy it all with a song. Oh, oh, oh.